Well, they were some nice views. Weren't they? We've just arrived into Stavanger and it's beautiful outside. We've got sunshine, which all like last week said today was going to be raining and we've turned up and it's like this amazing sunshine. So. Yeah, very lucky. <gasps> can I just say all the cupboards are open behind you and everyone can see in our cupboards. <laughs> Tidy man. Apologies. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? The time was confusing. So yeah. we thought, on the first announcement, they said the clocks would go forward one hour each night, and it was two nights until we got here. So I just went to the buffet, and I was talking to someone, I was like, oh, what time have you got? They're like, 9.06, like, I've got 8.06. And that was like adjusted to Norwegian time on my phone. And it turns out 8.06 is right, the clocks have only gone one hour ahead, but everyone else thought they'd gone two hours ahead, so it's quite confusing, isn't it? Yeah. But... It's day three. Yeah. Um, the second day of this vlog. And we've got breakfast. Mm-hmm. Rise and shine. Um, they now charge for room service delivery. No, it's shocking. Which didn't happen since we've been cruising and apparently wasn't before COVID either. So it's now £2.50 for delivery. Because we woke up an hour early because of the two hour <laughs> thing, which wasn't a thing, I've been to the buffet, I've had breakfast, um, but we've got some pastries which are going to keep in the room anyway, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. You're going to show us what we got? I am. So we have lots of pastries. Now we thought we ordered too much, but. Um, the pano chocolates are quite small. Oh, aren't ones. they cute? So you've got pano chocolates, croissants, chocolate muffin, and is that a blueberry muffin? So, yeah, um, the pano chocolates, we ordered three. I didn't know if they'd all come, but they are actually mm. all there. And underneath, so. you've got some cornflakes and some rice crispies as well. Can I just say, we're not going to eat this all today. It's more that we're um, going to take some with us. Yeah. But we've got to go. Our phone's ringing. Our phone's ringing. So. Ta-ta. What did I say ta-ta? To start our day in Stavanger, we opted for one of the more popular excursions, the Lisa Fjord Cruise and Pulpit Rock Tour for £85 each. Our first stop was Vagabond's Cave, a small mountain cave named after a group of vagabonds who sought shelter there on the run from the local police. Next, the boat pulled up alongside some mountain goats to feed them some bread. The goats wait here each day in anticipation of a treat. Pulpit Rock is one of Norway's most spectacular natural landmarks, towering 604 metres above the fjord. If it looks familiar, you may recognise it from Mission Impossible Fallout. It's where Tom Cruise and Henry Cavill fight in the climatic scene. Finally, we stopped at the Lisa Fjord Centre for some waffles and coffee. So where are we, Georgie? I have no idea. We're coming to some restaurant off of the ferry from the Lisfjord Pulpit Rock Cruise. And do you know where we are? No. No. 
but we have some tea, coffee and waffles. Yeah, although I can't see the tea. And it's nice and sunny. It's very sunny. <laughs> So how was the pulpit rock cruise, Georgie? The cruise was actually really nice. We was at the top, so it was really cold and really windy at the start, and then you just kind of slow down, it's all right. When we got to pulpit rock, it was a bit kind of like, oh. And I think it's because you're obviously underneath it, so it looks a bit different compared to being on top of it, but stunning nonetheless. And um, the whole scenery was pretty epic. What do you think? Yeah, it was stunning. Yeah. Like, and the way we stopped in a few places, which you've already seen at this point, um, along the way and the scenery changed from really green to the grey rock yeah and all those little trees and the rocks and then we got the boat did kind of turn around in it some places so you got like yeah. a 360 shot um, some of it and then yeah dropped back off right next to Iona Norway's fourth largest city Stavanger is packed with history culture and charm After World War II, a new city plan was created for Stavanger. With most of the city being modernised, a small area was saved and conserved. This is now known as Old Stavanger. Again? Yeah, well we haven't been today. Oh, I've been today. I didn't film it, I went up and got bacon, didn't I? Yeah. So we're going again. Ooh, there's a wall lit down. That's what I've done. Okay, we'll talk us through it. So I went for chickpea curry mm. and rice. I really fancied curry. But that's what we've struck on. So I put that on top <laughs> of the curry. So it's going to be pretty great. And so then I saw chicken, as I have chicken as well. And then I saw Yorkshire pudding, so... Yeah, it's a mess. But yours looks nicer. Nice, I've just gone for the stroganoff and the, and the mash as it was advertised, really. Yeah. What's your dessert? Um, golden syrup sponge. Oh, okay, that's what mine Yeah. Good. Let's tuck it. Enjoy. Off to the theatre. Woohoo! Oh, is that it? I was going to say, it was meant to be like a musical show, yeah. but it's now changed to a magician. A magician? Mm. I haven't had a drink today. A magician. Um, because of an injury, so. Yeah. But you like magic acts anyway, don't you? Yeah, we've got a magician whose name I've forgotten, so I'll put it down yeah. there. And it's been on Britain's Got Talent and stuff. So. And Penn Teller. Should be good. Yeah, hopefully. Should we see? Yeah. 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 and Dan's opted to the front row so if you're picked on it's your fault. Well, it's a magic show though so it'll be nice pick on it won't be horrible. If I disappear. <laughs> but yeah it's Mark Short to we're seeing. So. I, we, it's already flashed on screen from the first last four because he's got yeah. Yeah if I do get picked on I will be referring him to Georgie so. A piece of rope just here I just need you to inspect it make sure you're happy it's a piece of rope.
showered. Yeah. That means it's the end of the day. It does. So we need to wrap up just what we've done on the ship since we've been back. So we have been to the buffet as soon yep. as we got back on. Not a great selection of food. No, you're not impressed, are you? I'm very, I'm very not impressed. I'm not very impressed <laughs> at all. Um, yeah, then what did we do? We came back to the cabin. Yeah, we had a nice chill because we were frozen solid after this, the cruise to Pulpit Rock um, because we were on top of the um, on the top deck, staking a place, um, and when the boat sped up, it was just freezing. Yeah, but it was a nice twenty-one degrees when it was still. I think I was warming Dan because I stood behind his dad, and he acted as a windshield for me, so that was quite nice. Mm. Um, yeah, so we had a chill. We watched another film. And then we headed out to the theatre, and the magic show was really good. Mm -hmm. He was very good. Um, he did some clever things, um, which was quite impressive. And we didn't get picked. And I am glad that we moved seats because that's one of my worries about going to a comedian or a magic show or any of the above that someone's going to get picked out and it's going to be me. I'll have to go to stage because I hate that. And so yeah, we moved seats. Yeah, that was a long way around that. Yeah, <laughs> and the people in those seats were picked, so it wasn't us. We yeah. would have been picked. So that's a relief. Then we went to go and see a Dolly Parton tribute act um, in the Skyder, which um, you felt really bad for her because she was trying so hard, and the sound was just so awful, um, so poorly done. The echo just kind of echoed out the actual music itself um, so you couldn't hear really talking bad either really no. we sat upstairs uh, maybe it was different downstairs but we sat upstairs yeah. so you couldn't hear her talking because of the feedback that was going around the dome mm. um, but she could sing yeah and yeah, she, she was a good, good singer she was good um, and the crowd of well, the audience were kind of getting involved as well yeah. and singing along and shouting back um, but yeah the sound was weird yeah it took a while to get used to so yeah one sec. There's someone at the door. We shall explain why we have room service. That's probably really creepy, me like blowing into the camera like that. So we went to the buffet because we had late night munches. I say late night munches, nine o'clock munches. We hadn't really eaten properly today. I know I had my weird meal at lunch, but it wasn't lunch, mm. it was two, then we hadn't eaten at all. Um, so we went to the buffet and that was dramatic, wasn't it? What's it now? Well, not so much dramatic as it was poor. Um, so they, they obviously closed one side, so there's only a quarter of the buffet open. And they had veal, is the main, or shrimp chow mein, as the other option, or just bubble and squeak, just mashed potato and cabbage on its own. And I don't know why, well, I know why, I think it's because of the staff shortages uh, that they're facing at the moment, but the food choices in the buffet are really lacking at the moment, aren't they? Mm. Even every lunchtime, that's why I'm getting really weird food and I'm not really enjoying it and just eating because this is really hard to vlog there. with this smell sitting here. So, um, we'll quickly talk you through this. This is room service. I'm guessing we have scones. scones. I ordered scones, I completely forgot about these. I how much are these? Oh, I don't know how much these were. I think these were three pounds. If not, future Dan, can you please put the actual price in the corner? And then you ordered me. Oh, that's hot. Oh, I'm quite open there. This is a B&Q B B &Q &Q P and O cruises a double decker cheeseburger with French fries and chipotle relish. Oh, just hold on. This is a four pound seventy five as modelled by Georgie. It'll soon be complete. <laughs> and then to wrap it up, we've got the to wrap it up. This is your main. Oh, it was in to wrap up the presentation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we need sleep. Pino Cruises. Why do both of our meals start with Pino Cruises? Club sandwich. Um, chicken, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise. And this, Little Beauty, also cost £4.75. So, yeah. We're going to tap into this. I'm just going to cover it so I can put the stands for like a waiter. We've got an early start tomorrow, so we're going to have an early night. Yep. Um, we're in Oldham tomorrow. So, yeah. That's it. That is it for this week's vlog. We do hope you have enjoyed watching it. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below. You can also check out georgeanddan.com or scan the QR code. I don't know why I do this every time because it's not there at the moment. 
or scan the QR code that's going to pop up in your screen shortly to visit our website. You can check out the menus and the rest will be visited, as well as the Horizon daily programs from each day from this cruise on board Iona. And we'll see you later.